And speaking of presidents who don't care about their people, have you guys heard about what happened in Ethiopia last week? The Ethiopian security forces opened fire on students last Thursday during a non-violent protest, non-violent, at Western Oromia in Ambo town. I still don't get it. Africa, when are we going to wake up? Why are we killing our own children? Why are we killing ourselves? This is not even colonial time. This is not an attack from an enemy outside Ethiopia. This is the government of Ethiopia killing its own people. How do you explain that? How do you defend a government that opens fire on peaceful protesters in broad daylight? Do you know that they killed more than 30 people that day on the spot? More than 30 people. To be honest, I'm really concerned about what's going on in Ethiopia. Are things really getting better? I mean, it wasn't long ago that they jailed those women that were protesting during a marathon. Remember that I talked about that. Women protesting as they were running. And not only that, just last Sunday, they jailed six bloggers bloggers and three journalists now bloggers that that just doesn't make sense to me so that means you can't even blog anymore there is no freedom of blogging tell me if there is no freedom of blogging what freedom do you have you don't have to be a journalist to blog it's your right to blog about whatever you want but now they are saying you can't even blog so they jailed six bloggers and three journalists of course they've been jailing journalists for a long time you know even journalists who have terminal diseases there's this female journalist that has breast cancer they jailed her there's another male journalist that has um kidney problems they jailed him they've been jailing journalists for a long time in ethiopia and guess what their crime was these bloggers and three journalists that were arrested the ethiopian government said that these young people are working with foreign organizations they're working with human rights activists abroad and that they're using social media to destabilize the country and they did not explain to us how these people are destabilizing Ethiopia does that make sense and this is a democratic country in case you don't know Ethiopia is a democratic country the next thing is that they arrested them and they jailed them and as a matter of fact the government opened a court session last Sunday in order to sentence these bloggers to prison you see why I'm saying that I'm really afraid of the way things are going right now so because they want to get rid of these bloggers and this journal they wanted to sentence them as quickly as possible because of that they opened the court on a Sunday hey yeah how can you not have freedom of press in a democratic country it doesn't go together Ethiopia so now people can no longer protest because they may open fire on them and you can no longer blog because you may be arrested it doesn't even matter what you are blogging about they can come up with an excuse about how that can destabilize Ethiopia I honestly hope that the government of Ethiopia would wake up on time and have a change of mind before it's too late. You can keep going like this and don't think that this is only affecting Ethiopians. No, the whole of Africa, it's a ripple effect. What is going on in Nigeria right now? I'm sure it's affecting neighboring countries. It's affecting so many things. When Boko Haram can kidnap 200 girls and get away with it, you, you understand what I'm saying. So this is not just about Ethiopians. This is about all Africans. Honestly, it's not worth it. All the things that they are doing, it's not worth it. you are doing more harm than good so many countries are looking up to Ethiopia so we need to get it right now to all my Ethiopian brothers and sisters please don't keep quiet I believe that change will come and my deepest condolences you know to all the people who have lost somebody in the recent shooting it's it's so so sad I can't even imagine what you're going through let the government of Ethiopia know that the whole world is watching guess what I'm just keeping it real